LD, are you go for launch? LD, go for launch. There is that final go for launch. We are just over 30 seconds away until the maiden launch of this vehicle. Good luck, okay, Terran One, and have fun. Here we go. over the Atlantic Ocean. Our next ascent milestone is max Q around 80 seconds. Terran 1 is supersonic. Get to one switch over at the ground station. Max Q. indicating Terran 1 just made it through Max Q. We just completed a major step in proving to the world that 3D printed rockets are structurally viable. Up next, we'll be looking for a call out that stage one performance is nominal. stage ignition. This means that we had a main engine cut off for stage one and directly following that we had second stage ignition which you can see the Aeon vacuum engine in that beautiful view in the night sky. Reminder there is no fairing for this maiden launch as we don't have a customer payload but we do instead have a memento of the first ever circular test print. We are currently standing by for an update on what's happening with the Stage 2 engine.
Announcement on Cat Down, this is the LD. There has been a T plus anomaly with stage two. LC, please begin anomaly procedure section 25. Copy. As you heard from our launch director, we did have an anomaly with stage two during flight. But maiden launches are always exciting and today's flight was no exception. Although we didn't reach orbit, we significantly exceeded our key objectives for this first launch. And that objective was to gather data at max Q, one of the most demanding phases of flight and achieve stage separation. Today's flight data will be invaluable to our team as we look to further improve our rockets, including Terran R. Our team will now carefully analyze this data to determine what led to this outcome. So stay tuned to at Relativity Space on Twitter and RelativitySpace.com for additional updates in the days and weeks ahead. I want to thank the entire Relativity team for all of their hard work in getting us to this point. No one's ever attempted to launch a 3D printed rocket into orbit. And while we didn't make it all the way today, we gathered enough data to show that flying 3D printed rockets is possible. As Arwo mentioned, we will apply the lessons learned today in our future vehicle, Terran R. What we are doing has never been done before, but it is undoubtedly a worthwhile endeavor that will transform the aerospace industry forever. And with that, we will conclude our coverage for tonight. I am Rochelle Aniceto. It has been an honor. And I'm Arwa Tazani-Kelly. Thank you.